Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2018 Lincoln MKC, we're gonna be checking out the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So right off the bat, you know, this rack is gonna be a great way to carry around a lot of bikes. And I think it's gonna look really good on the back of the Lincoln actually. You know, it has kind of a modern appearance. And so it doesn't look out of place on the back of the MKC. One of the big questions that we get asked all the time in regards to Hitch Mounted Bike Racks is if you're still gonna have the ability to get inside of the back of your Lincoln. And the answer is yes. This one does fold down out of the way and allows us to do that. I we'll have the pin and clip there, pull that out. This one swings down really far actually, gives us a ton of space to work with. And with it like this, you know you're gonna be able to open up the hatch and get anything you might need in and out of the back of your MKC. One of the things I did notice with this setup on the MKC uh, is I really like where it's going to sit off the ground. So the arms are about chest height, and so it's going to be really easy to see and really manageable whenever you're putting the bike on or taking it off. Uh, how it's going to actually secure your bike, really simple, doesn't get much more straightforward. We're just going to have two straps here along the top two and a strap down here. Um, and this one's gonna act as an anti-sway. That's gonna help prevent that side-to-side -side movement so our bikes aren't you know, banging into each other as they're going down the road. But with that said, let's go ahead, pull our bike off and take a closer look at the rack itself. Do that, you're just gonna take the straps, kind of pull down on them, flip them up and out of the way. Same deal for this one down here. We're able to grab the bike and pull it off now, what's really important, especially with these multiple bike racks, you know, this one holds four. Um, this one, the arms are relatively narrow, and so it's gonna be really easy just to kind of slide the bike off. And that's not the case with all of these. Uh, some of them, the arms are wide, and you really have to kind of fight it and struggle with it. And because of the narrow arms, that's not gonna be the case. The cradles here where your bike's frame uh, is going to sit, they're nice and wide and pretty deep and made from kind of a hard uh, rubber. So a lot of different bikes should work out with it. Shouldn't worry about it, you know, your paint getting scratched up or anything like that. There's gonna be some channels in there as well. That way your cables can, can run through there and you're not gonna have to worry about pinching them. One thing that I am really impressed with are the straps. These things are super thick and heavy duty. You know, we, we use this rack pretty much every day, putting it on different vehicles um, and seeing how it works with different vehicles. And so these get a ton of use and they hold up really well, you know? So um, not something you see with a lot of racks. A lot, a lot of times they're a little more chintzy and it'll kind of start to stretch out and break apart. That said though, just so they're not, you know, flopping around whenever we're going down the road and we're not using the rack, I do suggest just kind of putting them back in place. Something that we do need to keep in mind whenever we have the rack on the back of our Lincoln is it is going to extend the overall length of it. So for those of you that are wondering, if we go from the hatch here to the very edge of the rack, looks like it's gonna be right at 40 inches. So um, something to kind of keep in the back of your mind whenever you're pulling into a garage, maybe even a tight parking spot. That said though, the arms do fold down uh, whenever you're not using the rack. Super easy, you just gotta pull out this pen and clip. The arms will swing down. And if you're gonna drive around with it like this, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure to replace that pen and clip. And in this position, it makes it really compact actually. We'll take that same measurement and with the setting like this, it's gonna be right at about 19 inches. So. Uh, in this position, really shouldn't give you any issues when you do go to pull into a tight parking spot or your garage. Moving on down here, the rack is going to work with those 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube openings like we have here on our MKC today. And it's also going to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. So it gives you a couple options there. It is going to come included with an anti-rattle bolt. And what that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play there in the connection point. That way, whenever you're going down the road, it's gonna keep things nice and quiet inside of your Lincoln. So to give you an example on how that works, 
let's say for driving and we're hitting some bumps, you can see the rack is gonna move with our SUV and not on its own. So when it comes down to it, a bike rack that you really can't go wrong with. You know, these things are tried and true, uh, well built and will last a long time. And honestly, I think even in the stored position, if you wanted to leave the rack on the back of your MKC, it's not gonna take away from the looks of it and it'll just kind of blend right in. And if you're anything like me, uh, you always wanna see the product you're interested in actually working or in action. So let's go ahead, load this up with some bikes, take it out on the test course and see how it does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2018 Lincoln MKC.